Monday, September 30th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $127. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. It's the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at Sons of Liberty Mint.com. The owners of a family grocery store have teamed up with the Institute for Justice this week to file a federal lawsuit. The lawsuit seeks an answer to the question, can the government use civil forfeiture to take your money when you've done nothing wrong and then pocket the proceeds? That's exactly what happened to Terry and Sandy Daco in January when agents of the federal government seized their entire checking account without warning, even though the Dacos did nothing wrong. Federal forfeiture allows the government to take your entire bank account just because it doesn't like the way you deposit or withdraw your money. Like most grocery stores, Terry and Sandy receive cash every day from their customers. Their common sense practice has always been to avoid letting too much cash accumulate in their store. In 2012, the IRS conducted an anti-money laundering examination of Terry and Sandy's store and gave the Dacos a clean bill of health. After the audit, the IRS sent Terry and Sandy a letter clarifying that, quote, no violations were identified. But nine months later, the IRS obtained a secret warrant and cleaned out Terry and Sandy's entire bank account, over $35,000, on the grounds that their frequent cash deposits violated the law. The government never charged Terry and Sandy with any crime and refuses to return their money. Terry and Sandy are still waiting for a hearing before a judge. So-called civil forfeiture laws allow government agents to seize your private property without ever convicting or even charging you with wrongdoing. The government then pockets the proceeds. Last year alone, the government took in more than $4 billion in forfeiture money. Taking money from innocent people like Terry and Sandy is wrong. Thankfully, the Dacos are prepared to go all the way to the Supreme Court if that's what it takes to vindicate the right to private property. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. A jail in Missouri has implemented new, quote, stun cuffs to control the behavior of inmates. With the press of a button on a remote control, 80,000 volts are sent from electronic shackles through the wearer's body. Critics call this technology cruel and unnecessary, with a serious potential for abuse. Earlier this year, Kevin Russell and his son Brant were charged with three misdemeanors each for assault, disturbing the peace, and obstruction. Now, they're peacefully resisting the cops' false charges in court. Kevin found his daughter Brooke in a park near their house, unconscious from a single gunshot wound to the head. He loaded his dying daughter into the car and met an ambulance near the police department. Russell said to the EMT, quote, Let's go! Get her to the hospital! Hurry up! Hurry up! The EMT turned away from Brooke to scold Kevin for rushing him. Had he been turned toward Brooke, he would have seen her fall off the gurney. At that time, a police officer ran up and sprayed 19-year-old Brant in the face with pepper spray and threatened to tase him. Then the cop sprayed the father's eyes too, and both men were taken to the jail and handcuffed to a bench. Three and a half hours later, when they were finally released, they learned that Brooke had died. Now, their attackers have offered them a deal. They'll drop the other charges if they just plead guilty to assault and take anger management classes. But Kevin says that would be admitting he did something wrong, and he insists all he did was scream. Kevin said, quote, I didn't assault anybody. I didn't threaten anybody. I didn't obstruct justice. The police chief does not deny the allegations, but he said the behavior is inconsistent with their code of ethics. Despite this admission, the officer involved has not been reprimanded or corrected in any way. The only known document document of this account that exists is an incident report, but police refuse to release it to the public yet. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.
Hello and welcome to the show. Boy, we got a good one for you today. Machiavellian civil disobedience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> An Alabama school is sending home permission slips for corporal punishment. A pissed off pacifist parent 